Your Perp back with another video, and I just got done watching episode seven of Heels season one. And man, this show just keeps getting better and better. In my opinion, it's definitely becoming one of my favorite of this year so far. We took a week off, but we're back, and it's looking like a promising finale that we're gonna get next week. Before I get into this review, hit that like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at PerpMinded420. With all that being said, let's dive right into it because we get a little bit of a flashback of Jack talking to his father and how his father was always against Ace becoming a part of the wrestling and stuff like that. He wanted him to get more into sports. He doesn't want that lifestyle, but you know, um, Jack kind of pushed against that. And said, no, he could be a star. He could really help the business. And I like how they show that these two were never really eye to eye. Even though Jack is really doing all this for his father. He wants this family business to su succeed. And I also like that we get to see the other side of things. As far as the competition, dystopia, gully, and how far he's willing to go to just um destroy his competition i think things are going to get really personal between these two companies man between gully and jack things are going to get really personal because man <laughs> we'll get into all that but he's kind of worried about the fair and how many people that's going to draw he even says it's like if that hits off it's over for uh gully so we'll get we'll get back to that. We have Crystal going to Jack trying to apologize, even writes a letter, is pouring her heart out. And mind you, Stacy's watching all of this. And Jack is just not even amused. He's not even amu entertaining what she's saying. And it's fucked up. But I feel like Jack is gonna come around eventually. We'll see. Now I like these little random moments that we get like little banter here and there with the other characters, the, the other cast members and stuff like that. That's really cool. Anyways, Jack is just like trying to figure out what's going on here. He's pretty pissed off. You could tell that, you know, he has to deal with all this stuff with Gully's trying to poach with um, he's trying to poach and trying to get people to go over to his show and flip sides and stuff like that, which it's interesting where this episode leads off to because we start to see them plan out plan out the main event. And Ace and Bill start to bump, bump heads on who should win. And it, it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out, man, because we still don't know exactly the final script of what whatever or however the, um, the main event's going to play out. So... With all this in Ace's head, he starts to look at Rooster and see that he's down in Florida. Rooster already made his decision. He's pretty much jumped ship. The son, you know, the son is picking fights with people at school, going off like he's on straight demon time. He has his black forces on, not messing with nobody. And his whole explanation is that he sees his father and his uncle always going back and forth and you know it's starting to take an effect on him and he's starting to take the wrestling thing too serious as well acting out in school stacy also notices that you know throughout this episode and throughout the series that jack is taking this stuff way too serious and he definitely is anyways we get this little tryout and Crystal ends up putting her name on the dotted line to try out and wrestle. We'll get into all that very shortly, but we got to switch things over to Ace because Ace goes to Florida kind of to kind of see how the other side of things kind of see what the other uh, what the competition is looking like. Everything is a party, party, party. It's wild. It's madness. It's it, you could just have 
as much freedom as possible and all that stuff is tempting this guy gully is really the devil man just and he knows how to talk a person into joining him he just knows how to manipulate and just say the right things he tells you what you want to hear he doesn't really care about um a script or nothing like that or um the legacy of wrestling and stuff like that he just sees dollar signs and he's going to put that in front of you. Shifting back over to the tryouts, Bill's sitting there just <laughs> making light work of the uh, of people trying out and stuff until until Crystal uh, steps to Bill and shows what she's got. And she did an amazing job as well. Really impressed everybody. Even Willie says crystal was the best one but jack's really not trying to hear it because she he's just want wants to protect his brother he's not really thinking about the talent even though his brother's about to jump ship and i like this conversation that ace has with uh gully that shit um that shit was crazy and th th that really made him kind of think about things and living in jack's shadow and he's like saying stop letting jack fuck you over you're better than that i can make you a star and he's just really eating in, into this just gully's just playing the seeds a really dope villain anyways going back to willie we're starting to get more of willie i like how i said in the beginning how we're seeing more of these other characters just not ace jack and everything because everybody Everything that they do affects them as well. And you're starting to see that with Willie. Um, her daughter's ridiculous how she sets a timer uh, to wash the dishes. I was like, you could just do that now and just. And you, you start to see that she's under a lot of pressure. Her husband starts to see this and is trying to just be there for whatever. You know, anything that she needs, he's there. And he's trying to just figure it all out and he thinks it has something to do with uh, Bill being back and that's bringing back past emotions. And he's not really having any hard feelings about it. He just wants to be there for the woman that he loves. I'm on, I, I, I'm curious to see where Willie goes. Like if she's going to end up leaving and putting this all up, cause she is a good producer and all that. And her husband lets her know that, um, that, you got to know your worth pretty much. You you're, uh, you deserve better. I like that scene. That was really cool, really emotional. So now we get to the end of the episode where you see Ace waking up with nothing but, you know, tits in his face. And it seems like he's made a his kind of decision. He's still kind of in between. He's kind of flip-flopping a little bit. He, he calls Crystal. Because he wants Crystal to come down here and, you know, he still cares about Crystal. I, I I like that about Ace, but he's making a lot of wrong choices. We'll see where this goes. So Crystal goes to, um, to Jack to tell him that Ace is about to flip. He's over there at Dystopia. And Ace out here wilding, yo. He's like snorting coke over here and stuff like that. Here's a ridiculous scene, though. Before we get into the whole um, end of the episode, Stacy f is going to freak out on Jack about these uh, these Kleenex or whatever. It's just like, are you serious? Come on. I understand, like, she didn't know about it, but come on. It's not that serious, in my opinion. That's going to turn into a whole fight. You could expect something uh, coming in the finale, I guess, with that. So going back over to dystopia and stuff we see rooster just in this like hardcore match with this guy named barbed wire because that's what he uses is barbed wire it's nothing really talented about a story there's no real storyline in this match it's just two people beating the hell out of each other and he's temporarily the champion right now because this is what he wanted and i i i, I think that rooster is going to regret switching sides because you know, Gully's whole plan is to give Ace the title next week and whatnot. And, you know, Ace doesn't even want that responsibility right off the rip. 
And man, when this dude Gully comes out, because he's pretty much rolling out the red carpet for Ace, hyping him up, saying like, oh, I wonder if Ace is in the back. Is he going to come out? That'd be so crazy. Just gassing it up. But Jack hops in the ring, face to face, to face with Gully, and just knocks him out, just starts put him on, fucks him up. <laughs> and he's pretty much like, yo, don't mess with mine. And I'm wondering how that's all going to end up uh, going into the finale and stuff. And Ace sees this. Rooster's like, yo, you got a messed up family. And that's the end of the episode. I feel like that's going to have some repercussions of Jack being up Gully. He might try to sue. That might mess things up with the fair. I don't know. This was a dope episode. Looking forward to the finale. Let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments below. Till next time, I will see y'all next week. Peace.